Good morning, guys. Um, today we're going to do using place value to subtract, which is very similar to using place value to add. It's when you go through and you look at the specific um, place values, like the ones, and then the tens, and then the hundreds, which it would be opposite view. So the ones, then tens, then the hundreds. Um, and you need to think about, uh, do I need to borrow? Is what's going on here? And then do it. So let's look at the directions here. Um, the first thing it tells us to do is estimate. And this is important, right? We have to kind of guess what the answer is going to be about. And don't just guess like, oh, I think it's going to be a thousand. No, you need to sit down and really think about it. So let's look at the first numbers. 585 is kind of close to 600. And 119 is kind of close to 100. You see how 19 is like, eh, you could go down. The 1 means we go down, the 8 means we go up if we're rounding. And 600 minus 100 is 500. That's how they got the 500 up there. All right, so now I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step of how to subtract. And you guys already know this. This is review. So it's just good for us to practice this to make sure we borrow when we need to borrow. So 5 minus 9, put up five fingers. Can you take 9 away from 5? No, we don't have enough here. We don't have enough here. So we need to go next door and borrow 110 from the 8. So now we have 7 tens left. 10 plus 5 is 15. Now we can do 15 minus 9. Can you guys do that in your head? Hmm. Give me 6. All right, and now we have 7 minus 1. We can totally do that. And then 5 minus 1 is 4. So it's 466. Um, so guys, just remember if there's um, more on the floor, you go next door and borrow 10 more. Okay. Uh, that's what you learned with Miss Marston. And I think, yeah. All right. And let's go down to the problem solving bit. And you are going to do number 11 today. Okay. I want you to learn how to explain yourself. All right, let's look at number nine. Mrs. Cohen has 427 buttons. She uses one nine, 195 buttons to make puppets. How many buttons does Mrs. Cohen have left? Now, it doesn't say about, so we are just going to figure this out. This is straight subtraction, right? And we know it's subtraction because of this little word right here, left. How many buttons does she have left? That means we had to subtract some from it because she had more in the beginning. All right, so we're going to do 427 minus 195. Now, can you take 5 away from 7? Totally. That is what? It is 2. All right, can you take 9 away from 2? Nope. So what do you got to do? You got this. Go next door and... Borrow 10 more. So our next door neighbor is four. So we're going to cross out the four, turn it into a three. Cross out the two. Two plus 10 is 12. So 12 minus nine is three. Three minus one is two. Okay, so the answer is 232. You're going to do the rest of this page. And then the next one. The next page has your little quiz, which is the same as what we were just doing. Notice here how they made not nice and big, right? Make sure you read carefully. And down here, you have to do some problem solving. That one's critical thinking. Yeah. All of these, you have to think about what are our words that tell us if it's addition, subtraction, multiplication. So when you're reading these, you have to pay close attention and think, do I have to figure out if there's more or less? Okay. You guys are doing wonderful. And I know you're going to rock this. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.